<laughs> Today at my daughter's swim practice, they were doing time trials for the 50 free. And in her heat, she blew out of the gate, and she was leading the heat by far by halfway across the pool. But as she came to the end, she came up for air, and she saw me standing there and saw the timer standing there, and she smiled and felt accomplished. But what she forgot to do was finish through the wall, finish to the end, and touch so that the clock could stop. This meant that the field could catch up to her, and her win wasn't as dominant as it could be, and the result wasn't as good as it could have been. I'm Dr. John Bartimus, and I'm putting the pieces together to help you live a life at Optimal. Have you ever done this? Have you ever started out on a new endeavor that was going to lead to health for you and be a very good thing for your life? Did you crush it for two or three weeks, but then right as you were building momentum to really create positive change, you let off the gas and you still coasted to a positive and overall were better for it, but maybe not as good as it could have been. You probably have done this. I have done that. We've all done that. It's not uncommon and some would say it's human nature. And that underscores the, the reason why we have to deny our flesh and deny ourselves and push even harder when we feel like we've accomplished something. Because oftentimes, right when we're feeling good about what we've done, is the time to push even harder so that you cement that habit in and create real momentum there. So we've all heard it takes 21 days to make a habit. Well, this is similar to that principle. Have you ever done a Whole30 or a Paleo challenge at your CrossFit gym? I, it never fails that when our, when our gym runs one, people do it, they do it strict, they feel great, and then they go celebrate with a pizza. And they come in and they say, man, after I ate that pizza, I felt terrible. And I always say, well, of course you did. But what we can learn from that is that's how you always felt before the Whole30 or before the Paleo challenge. But because you always felt that way, you thought that was normal. You never knew what healthy felt like. Well, imagine if they hadn't fallen back and had that pizza to celebrate. The pizza to celebrate is coming up too short of the wall and not reaching the full potential or the maximum result that they could have received. So is this you? If it is, I encourage you to not, not give up and say, oh, I can't follow all the way through but to start again, this time with the end in mind, and know that, hey, at the two to three week mark or the five week mark, whatever it is for you, I'm going to be feeling good, but that's not reason to let off. That's even more reason to push that gas pedal down and finish through the wall and set a new record. So if you're looking to create health and make a big change in your life in a positive way, start strong, stay strong through the midpoint, and finish strong. And where this analogy falls apart is the finish strong part, because in life, there is no finish. Health is not a destination, it's a journey. So we have to continue each and every day, each and every meal, each and every workout to choose to finish strong. Finish strong for that meal, finish strong for that workout, finish strong for that day, stack meals together, stack days together, and create real change, real positive momentum and achieve a life at Optimal.